guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven. Uh, the last of the leaks uh, for Syndicate have come through. Um, I'm just going by the one uh, big piece that uh, CDPR, uh, the Gwent Twitter page, really revealed. So they're all going to be on one page here. We're just going to go through them one by one. I've not really looked at these, so I'm curious to uh, see what they look like. Um, I know they are Tide Cloaks, that's all I know. Um, but uh, let's check them out. Uh, so first up, let's go from the bottom right to the top left, because it looks like we got a scenario over there. Um, so, <clears throat> Treasure Huntress, Human Pirate, Tide Cloak, four for five, profit three. Okay, so it's getting seven, possibly, Horde seven, Fee. Infuse an allied unit with add at the end of your turn, gain a coin. So everything can turn into a the 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 four provision uh what's his name? Tax collector. So you can you can have multiple tax collectors, you're gonna have some shenanigans with the the townsfolk, right? You could do a lot of crazy shit with them then. You get a bunch of them going. Um, four for five. They got a doggo in there. German Shepherd too. Eh, it's all right. I mean, it's gonna synergize more than likely with the scenario. Uh, all right. So let's go with uh, the next one here. Pearl Diver, uh, Human Pirate Tide Cloak. So they're all getting the same tags. Four for four. Um, timer three, gain six coins. So, I mean, this is nice on, it's a nice carryover play, I guess. If you're not going to get, win the round, you can uh, drop this. If it lives three turns, you get six coins out of it. Um, so you can pull out your boat. Once again, it's going to have synergy with, you know, coin generation things when coins are gained. Uh, so Bensi. You know, if you can get that down, let it count. You know, then it would actually play for like 10 points. Um, Saul is a Tide Cloak. He's not a pirate, but he is a Tide Cloak. Um, I wonder if this... Uh, I know they already changed it once. But I'm wondering if they maybe change it again. This uh, double combo here for the... Pitfer and Aledia... I butchered that, I'm sure. Um, I don't know. It might be too slow, especially with the shit that's going on with Skellige. Um, Fender's Crew, Human Pirate Tide Cloak, three strength, eight provisions. Deploy, spawn three base copies of self on this row, reduce the number of copies. Buy one for every counter. Your hordes require one less coin to trigger. Horde 9. Once per round at the end of your turn, while in hand or in deck, remove the counter. Remove a counter. So it says counter 3. So it's a spam card? It so spawn three base copies of self on this row reduce the number of copies by one for every counter so if you can get if you can get every horde nine so once once it's in hand or in deck if you get horde nine the counter goes away so one so once it's in your deck and you get Horde 9. Horde 9. Once per round, at the end of your turn, while in hand or in deck, remove a counter. So you want to try to hit your max coins. So it, it's, it's asking you to max out Saul. But it doesn't jump out of the deck. This one's like confusing to me. It's really confusing. 
deploy, spawn three base copies of self on this row, reduce the number of copies by one for every counter. Your hordes require one less coin to trigger. Okay, so you're getting rid of hordes. So it's, 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 it synergizes with Saul. You can drop them down a little bit more. Horde 9, once per round at the end of your turn, while in hand, remove a counter. Hmm. Okay. This one you guys will have to explain to me, because it, it, it seems like it's like a payoff that you... Don't want, I mean, it, it it gives you less for your hordes, but I mean, like, how many hordes are there? You got sewer raiders. I guess the fences. No, that's tribute. Horde five ransackers. Maybe they get changed. Sea jackals, though. You're getting at the fives, pretty good. You could spend three times so you're gonna you you might want to you actually might want to use the leader for thing i imagine you would i mean they're tied cloaks you can actually proc the scenario it looks like in one go with uh the leader unless they change it because you could spawn two of them it says progress whenever you play a tide cloak prologue spawn good run bjordison on this row i destroyed that one as well chapter eight horde eight at the end of your turn, gain enough coins to fill your pouch. So you automatic if you're at horde eight, oh, you automatically get eight coins. Or do you have to be at horde eight to play chapter one? I guess so. If that's the case, you would use jackpot. But why would you use? jackpot i guess you could play the coins play but that's kind of like i guess you get to play your leader twice if that makes sense chapter two damage the highest enemy unit by the number of coins you have so you could do this all in one shot and hit for nine max with the the pirate leader Pirate's Cove. It's two spenders. But I think... It seems like you want to use Pirate's Cove, but it... It depends on what this Eight Horge thing is. Let's see the, uh... The token or whatever. Um... Oh, it's Good Run. Okay. Four for fifteen... You spawn this. Horde 7, Fee 3. Infuse an enemy with whenever your opponent gains coins. Damage self by 1. Excuse me? Horde 7, Fee 3. Infuse an enemy with... Whenever your opponent gains coins... Ah, you're putting it on the unit. Whenever your opponent gains one gain... Okay, so you could do this... Fee 3. So you play it... And then you could put this on something twice to damage it. Every time you get coins. Yeah, there's... There's definitely going to be some town folk synergy that's going to be pretty hilarious. I don't know. It seems pretty hilarious. Also, too, uh, the girl that's on uh, the boys, Queen Me, she could probably play Good Run. I mean, that's a spitting image of her just now that I'm looking at it. Um, let me know what you guys think. Uh, it seems like it's going to be really, really complex. So if you're into that... Um, you're going to have a lot of fun with it, it seems like. Uh, thank you guys so much for the reveals videos. Uh, not sure who's on tomorrow, um, but uh, we'll definitely check it out. Open this weekend. Good luck to all the TLG members. Uh, 
Podgeable, uh, Kuner. Uh, who else? There was a. I always forget his name. Oh shoot. Kuner. Kerptine. And Podgeable. So we got three guys. Who was going to get deathmatched in the first round? We will have to wait and see. I think the reveal shows tomorrow. But um, you guys are wonderful. Thank you so much for everything. See you guys next time.